Port Byron is now testing its water after the state says it tested positive for higher than normal levels of manganese. Now, manganese is a naturally occurring mineral, but the Illinois EPA says prolonged exposure, especially in children, can affect the nervous system, as well as one's memory and motor skills. And tonight, one resident tells News 8 Shelby Kluver she's noticed issues with her water for years. It's new tonight on News 8 at 5. It's scary. Because you think we're in America, we've got clean, good drinking water. Clean water, a luxury Angela Yusko says she hasn't had in Port Byron. Oh no, I won't, I will not drink that tap. I wouldn't even give it to my animal. It's been four and a half years since Yusko moved to the village. I always wondered, like, what is this brown stuff in the water? Immediately, she noticed something was off. I noticed it first in the toilet because the, it starts to stain the toilet bowl. A light brown sediment that would collect over time. You can see it sets up in the bottom of the tub because there's like a texture to the tub and it sits in those creases. Before we met her, she had recently cleaned her bathroom, but you can still see a faint brown substance left behind. And over at her water heater... When you go to drain it, about this much of it comes out completely black. Her tap water also has issues. If you boil it, it leaves a film around your pan. This is what was left behind when she boiled water for us. It has kind of that the rotten egg smell to it, so you get a little bit of that, yeah, the taste in it. Back in December, the state notified the village of its manganese problems. Illinois standards allow 0.15 milligrams per liter. Port Byron's wells are testing between 0.18 and 0.20. Mayor Barb Cray told us, in part, we are addressing it. We do know it's a problem. We don't feel that it's a health hazard at this moment for the people. Well, I mean, something needs to be done. They need to get to the bottom of it. For now, Yusko relies on bottled water for drinking and cooking. And as she waits for a solution... I won't be drinking no water, that's for sure. <laughs> in Port Byron, Shelby Kluver, WQAD News 8. And the village says it's hired an engineering firm to look into the problem and will present some of the solutions at its next town meeting that's coming up on Monday.